Amnesty International recorded a significant increase in the number of uh, global executions um, we could confirm in 2023. Um, the total uh, reaching 31% uh, higher than 2022 uh, and reached the highest total that we have uh, recorded in close to a decade since uh, 2015. The, the rise was uh, primarily linked to one country, that was Iran, uh, where we saw executions uh, double. Last year, we had 89% of uh, all executions being recorded by, in uh, Iran and uh, Saudi Arabia. When we look at the totality of the figures that we could confirm, uh, we see that uh, what we saw also in, uh, in recent years, that it's just a handful of countries that are responsible for the great majority of all executions. Unfortunately, we saw an uptake in executions in uh, just a handful of the countries, that, the states that still um, retain the death penalty. We saw Florida carry out its first execution. Um, we saw uh, Alabama uh, pursue a new method of executions to facilitate um, the use uh, of the death penalty in greater numbers. Uh, and we see Texas still accounting for the great majority of the uh, executions carried out last year. We do not know what is the uh, true picture of uh, the use of the death penalty in China. Uh, there is a veil of secrecy that uh, surrounds figures. The figures to date are still classified as a state secret. Uh, we have seen in the past claims from the authority of a reduction in uh, the number of executions, but it's something that we could not uh, prove nor independently verify. In uh, Africa last year, we recorded only one country carry out ex executions, but it was greatly concerning that um, executions uh, increased by six times. Uh, we saw Somalia uh, rise their total from six in 2022 to 38 last year. Last year was also a year of progress. Um, we saw, uh, for example, uh, Pakistan abolish the death penalty for uh, drug-related executions. Uh, we saw Malaysia uh, abolish the mandatory death penalty and uh, start the resentencing process that we believe will lead to a significant decrease in uh, the totality of the people on the throne in the country. We still have hope for this year. We see bills in Zimbabwe that started last year uh, moving forward in, uh, in the parliament. Uh, and, um, um, and we see Taiwan currently considering a constitutional challenge to abolition. Uh, so overall, uh, the message is a message of hope. Uh, we know that abolition uh, will come about in uh, the whole world. It's just a matter of time. And we urge all countries that still carry out executions to immediately stop uh, and move forward with the times.